Welcome back to the channel everybody. This may seem a bit weird that we're starting off at the lock here. If you remember last time I told you I had to make this into two parts because otherwise it would be way too long. And this is the second part. Please do excuse the wind noise again. Like I said in the last video, the mic port has broke on my camera again. So it's gone back to these standard mics on the camera, which aren't protected from the wind. And obviously I'm oblivious to this fact until I go back and watch the footage. Quite slow. I said, oh, it's, uh, seemed pretty fast to me. Yeah. So I'm used to the CRT ones, which are like little dribble. Yeah, I think Five maybe they're all like, like that on here. Uh, but no, it was super fast. The pressure was immense. But apparently, it used to be fire, like hydrant things on it or something to fill up. Oh, that's why the hose is like massive, Josh, on it. Yeah. There's a big like hose, isn't there? And they've so downgraded them. Then. Josh, huh? Look at those skylights. I know, that's what I have to say. Lovely. Anyway, let's get uh, going. Uh, yeah, let's hopefully. get cruising.
Here's the angle of Welsh higher base here, and there was a member of staff outside. We asked, "Can we get diesel here?" And he just he did the slip throat, you know, to say no, no diesel. I don't know why. I guess because diesel's so expensive at the moment and it's so scarce, they don't want to sell their diesel to any other people other than their hire boats. They're missing out on business if you ask me, but if it was any other waterway, like the canals or anything, yes they would sell it. It's the River Thames of course.
if you remember in the last video, this is where I said we planned to moor and I said it wasn't going to be likely. And yeah, it's too shallow, we can't moor there. So we're going to have to moor down here on the opposite side of where the car is and figure out a way to get the car. Moored up now, guys. Ferry in. We've <laughs> uh, got a problem, though. Yeah, big problem. The car's over there. <laughs> the car's over there, yeah. and Andy needs the car's it. Just there. Like two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's on the opposite the side of the river. There's nowhere. We yeah. thought we could moor back there, but it was too shallow. There's branches and mm. stuff everywhere. So and the reason I didn't really bring the car this side is because I thought it might be private. I should have investigated, but it, because there's no bridge along this side of the river. It would have taken us miles to get round there to investigate. So... Um, we'll get diesel, because yeah. we couldn't get diesel we'll get at the, diesel the Anglo -Welsh. Anglo -Welsh. Welsh. Welsh. to the Thames. Yeah, so yeah there was no diesel there. He went like that. <laughs> yeah, slip for it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we have to go get diesel from... It's the same price anyway nowadays, isn't it? 180, 190. <laughs> Um, I don't know, let's get 40, we've got the cans, let's get 40 litres put in there, that'd do us for quite a well, while. I think I'm going to have to buy a tender, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. 200 quid, 100 quid for the dinghy and 100 quid for the thing. The, uh, well I could just buy a tender, but, um, yeah. With, get right, uh, with oars, with oars. Yeah. All right. So that would be good for the channel, um, and it will help us get over there. I'm trying to figure out, we might have to put the boat over there, drop you off the nose. You can't, you can't. Where can I get off, Andy? I don't I can't know. Off. Anywhere? Maybe she went sideways and Mum got on the bow and she got off at the slipway. I don't know. Or I jumped off the slipway. Yeah, if someone jumps in Why the don't morning. you put your keys in your hat and swim over? Why don't you do that, eh? In your hat, like that. Do a little oh, thing. What? I think it was a turn or something. I don't know. No, I don't think it was a turn. Swallow, maybe. Anyway, yeah. um... So that's a good idea. The only other thing we can do is me and Mum have got to walk again and try and find a bridge or something to cross over the river. It's a shame there wasn't a ferry. Yeah, there used to be a little there. ferry. There was yeah. a ferry. Yeah, the ferryman. <laughs> yeah, 2007. Yeah. The cats out now, it's a big so flood. About 15 years ago. No, right, if we were 15 years ago, yeah, we could flood. get the little ferry across. Destroyed the ferry. Yeah. Little, like... Some little bird sparrow. I don't know what it is. It's just oh, yeah. landed here, right from the cat. <laughs> right, um, so we need to sort. We've got to sort something out. So. Yeah, we'll find a way. Well, we're off again, and we're going to go up to the next lock and there's a road there with a car park but I have a slight suspicion that it's going to be private and hopefully we can moor there and Dad can drop us off and me and Mum can walk two miles to get back and get the car
we're just going to moor on the lock landing here but we're all the way down there's plenty of room for like two boats uh, while me and mum go and get the car but we don't because there's a sign at the car park that says this road is private no walking no cycling no parking smile for the camera so lucky there's enough room for dad to turn around because we're gonna have to go back downstream and they're gonna have to try and get me over to the other side of the river i'm gonna have to jump off the bow or something So I managed to get off Olive, got my legs all stung up there. I made it. My legs are absolutely on fire at the moment. From all those nettles. Oh my god, man. So now I've got to find a route to get over there. Oh, my legs. <laughs> Do you I'm never wearing shorts again. I thought, oh, I'm going to wear shorts today. Nice sunny day. Nope. Oh god, I made it back to you though, Carl. I'm not going to believe this. It's a 25 minute drive to literally get over that side of the river. What the? F Luckily, this company is going for our fuel. Oh my god, I've got to go 25 minutes just to get over there. It's a whole loop. I hate rivers. So I'm here outside the ferry inn. That's where we started our journey 25 minutes ago. 10 odd miles or something. Oh my god. Just to get around there. Build a bridge for Christ's sake. Um anyway. Yeah. I came in here. Alright. And there's a little sign saying it's not a public car park, customers only. And it does give you the option though, ten pounds per day. It's a bit high, isn't it? Ten pounds. So looks like I'm gonna have to do that. I don't know. Or maybe. I don't know if we go in for a meal, we could get the parking for free. We're only here for like, what? I don't know, 10 hours, 12 hours. But there is, I did find parking further up, about a quarter of a mile away, but that's not willing to walk that. Good turn. Hi. This little specimen. How long it is now. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm moored up. Again? Again, yeah. It's the second outro we've made. But I've cut all those outro parts out of the last part. <coughs> and that'll just be an update. Um, but, uh, yeah, after that last part, we decided to go up the river, didn't we, to the next lock. Because I had parking marked down there. But we went through the lock. Moored up on the lock landing, left loads of space on the lock landing because um, we we're just going to temporarily wait there while well, me and mum walk back and get the car. When we walked to the car park and then we saw a sign that said uh, private road. I was like, ah, oh, I knew it, I knew it was going to be a private road. So it said, no walking, no cycling, no pedestrians, uh, smile, you're on camera. So I just walked back. I said, we have to go back down. We have to go back down to the car. We have to, you have to try and get me over to the car. It's the only way. <laughs> so you have to turn around and come back the other way. Yeah. Yeah. But then yeah. as we turned to the side to right. turn around, three <laughs> kayaks came down the canal and then a boat turned up to come up the lock. So everyone and their mother showed up, but we went down with the canoes. Two um, boats came through, little boats, didn't they? Like yeah. kayak things. Mm. They were really nice people though, weren't Yeah, but the other guys... The other guy was a funny old part, yeah. bugger, wasn't he? They weren't happy, because they had to wait for a couple more minutes. He had to wait for us to turn around. Yeah. I, heard him, I heard him shout, Oh, it's going to be a while, because Andy, the, the small boats had gone in and Andy had to turn around. Well, they're a long way from York, aren't they? Pride of York. Mm. Pride of York. Yeah. Oh, we're not allowed to out people anymore, are we? Anyway, we turned back round, and I said, yeah, you're going to have to try and get me off at the front. I couldn't let mum do it, because it was, it was too treacherous. No, I'd end up in the Because water. what it was, was a bank with about five foot high of weeds, stinging nettles, brambles, <laughs> everything. And this was the day I decided, you know what, it's sunny, I'm going to wear my shorts. And then and I, thought, a day. Yeah, I thought, there's going to be no chance that I'm going to be 
traversing mm. stinger nettles again, but there was. <laughs> so I had to jump off at the bow. I just managed to jump off. I didn't fall in, luckily, somehow. Um, but then I had to walk through stinger nettles in my shorts, and my legs are still stinging now, like three hours later. Um, and I managed to find a way round to the car park, and I didn't fall in, I don't know how. People watching me from the uh, ferry inn. <laughs> and, um, but I got there. I managed to get over to the car. And uh, I was honestly shocked when I set up the Google Maps and I saw how far it was. 25 minute drive to from get. One side of the river to the other. <laughs> yeah. 70 foot away or something. Um, and it was about 10 miles, so I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. And I said, luckily, we don't have to pay for this diesel. Um, so then we drove, then I drove, and I had to drive all the way up the river to cross at the next bridge, which is miles away, at the next morning, I think. Um, so then I, uh, yeah, I got back. Um, I turned a really tight corner. Actually, I didn't mention that. I turned a really tight corner on a 60. I slowed right down, put it in third gear, and just as I turned the corner, there's this great big bloody tractor coming around the same corner, so I went, like that, get out of the way. Oh, he, he didn't tell us about that, he only just told us about that. Yeah. It's gonna die. But, but, but so, um, when we got, when Josh got there, it says yeah. it's £10 for the night if you want to park in the Yeah, I saw a sign, I was like, oh my park. god, this is private but, as well. But I went and asked oh, a lovely lady in there, she was out having a fag. And I said, do you work here? And she said, yeah, I work here, and love. I said, oh, is it possible? My husband's leaving at four o'clock in the morning to just park the car till. This was about half three in the afternoon. Oh, my God, she said, that's fine. I said, well, I'm willing to pay the 10 pack. No, she said, don't worry about it, she said. If anybody asks, just say Sally said it's okay. Oh, so there good. are some so nice it's... people that don't yeah. mind us parking. Yeah, lovely people. Lovely that's people. the yeah. thing with the Thames, there's hardly anywhere to park, hardly, well, the upper Thames, it's not too bad. It's wherever you can get in and more. What? Isn't it? And everybody's mm. like, when you're going along the Thames, everyone waves. Yeah. They're really nice, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I just get fed up with the logistical nightmare yeah. of the Thames. Getting from the car, getting back to the car. But the most the annoying thing is, though, if we had a tender, it, it, it would, the problem would be solved because we could just take a little dinghy so over. So, guess what uh, they've ordered? Yeah. We've got ourselves an index Seahawk 4 coming so with a space, little electric just outboard. Out of it. Yeah, so that's going to be that really good. Fun. And he's got a little electric motor yeah. coming. Oh shit! 260 quid uh, yeah. altogether. What's going on out there? What's going on out there? I don't know. I think because you sat on the side of the boat. Uh, people walking dogs and stuff. Anyway, um, lead. yeah, so we're getting that delivered to <laughs> Mum's going to look after Georgie soon, aren't you, Mum? Yeah, I've got to go down. Uh, Luke's picking me up Tuesday night. And I've got to have him Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I'll be back Friday night. We can go for days <laughs> yeah. out in the boat, Josh. Yeah, well, there's loads of things we can do with they this They can boat. christen mm. the boat if they like. Well, no, they can't, actually. No, it'll be me it. and you christening the boat. Yeah, oh, you won't have it. To, it's being delivered to Ross, isn't it? Yeah. And then Mum gets back Friday, and then that's when Dad goes again. But if me and Josh are stuck in sort of one area because Mum's away looking after Georgie, we can go out in the boat, can't yeah. we? Yeah. We can, do little we can take it onto isolated canals, like the Stroud Water Navigation part of the canals uh, that we can't navigate. Thames and Seven. We're going to take the boat on and go yeah. along it and that. Because the River Thames, at its terminus, electrically joined to the Thames and Seven Canal, but that's abandoned. They're restoring that, but they have restored some of it, which is the Stroud Water Navigation. Which is about five, six, seven miles, uh, locks and stuff. And yeah, it'd be good to show that for the first time someone navigating it. Oh, that'd be narrow. good. Yeah. That's... Whereabouts is that on our journey? You no. just said Letchley. <laughs> well, it's further down from Letchley. Ah. It's near Sharpness. That's the canal that we couldn't take. Remember, I said it was yeah. abandoned. Sharpness to uh, Letchley. Yeah. But yeah. That's it. So we can go on canals that other people on other boats can't. Yeah, then. it's gonna be really and good. We've got electric motors, so it's econ yeah. economical and not noisy. It's yeah. all exciting, guys. But let's wait and see. Yeah. We all fall out of it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Watch your space. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Maybe click the love heart button. To say thanks. 
Yeah, thank you. See you later, guys. Bye.